I want to do mining because it's something that's much more industrial, something that's dealing with large scales. You get to play with the biggest toys, you get to play with the biggest figures everywhere. It's also really exciting to be part of an industry that has millions of dollars, millions of tons, millions of barrels of anything. Big scale projects that everyone kind of really wants to play with. You get to see some cool stuff. After I graduate, I'd either want to be a mining or petroleum engineer. Since I've done a double, I can do both. But I think I'm leaning towards petroleum engineering at the moment. Well, we need resources for just about everything. In petroleum, we need uh, all the products, even if we're not burning them, for making things like clothes or making things like oils and lubricants. And mining, we need for just about everything. If you want to have a phone, if you want to have a table, if you want to have a house, then you need mining. I've had four vacation opportunities. I've been to the Hunter Valley twice, I've been to Mount Isa once, and I've been to Perth, Western Australia once. It gave me a lot of opportunity to see the sites and work on the sites as an engineer would. It was really exciting to be trusted with some responsibilities, some real responsibilities as a, still a student really, and to really try out what an engineer will be doing for the rest of his career. I think UNSW prepares you a lot for the industry and the workplace because there's a lot of emphasis on teaching courses that are first of all relevant, second of all that are up to date, and third of all that have a lot of emphasis on the software that professionals actually use as engineers. UNSW also has a number of workshops that you can go to for employability, so there's a lot of help to find a job, find an internship and find anything else that you need. As we continue to grow our population, we will continue to need resources. Part of meeting those resources is part of being more efficient at extracting them, planning better to produce them, planning better to refine them, and we need engineers for every step of that.